Hey guys, it's the Hawkerfy with another modding tutorial for Star Wars Empire War here on Friday Night Lag. Today, I'd like to go over modifying infantry aspects. Assuming you've already installed Edit Pad Light and other oddities that I explained in the previous video, you're going to want to go to your computer, C drive, program files x86, or whatever it is on your computer if you're using an older operating system like Windows XP, LucasArts, Star Wars Empire War, Game Data, Data, and XML, which is where you should have installed your XML folder, as I said in the previous video. What you want to do is scroll down until you see Ground Infantry. And we'll open up, and then you'll see this text. And right here we have Ground Infantry, Scout Trooper. Here you can edit many things, pretty much everything about Scout Troopers in the game. I'm going to be focusing on stormtroopers, so we're going to have to scroll down. Sorry for that mouse wheel, if you heard that. So we find ground infantry name equals quotation mark stormtrooper. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit. see what we want to change. For example, in this video I'm going to be changing mostly their health. As you can see, you can scroll down until you find shield points, tactical health, which they don't have shields, so I'll just change the health to about 80, which doubles their health, making them a whole lot more durable when in combat. We can edit things like the Fog of War reveal range, change that to about 1,000, and it lets them see farther so you're not easily spooked by enemy units. Here we have projectile fire recharge. What that is is how many time, like how long it takes them to fire off another round. That's essentially what this is. So about one second. Change that to if you want them to fire for a longer amount of time. Not fire for a longer amount of time, but take more time to fire. That's what I should have said. Or you can change it to 0.25, and then they fire much more rapidly and are more likely to kill enemy infantry that much more easily. Then we have targeting fire inaccuracies. And then see here in the comment, from one to make them more inaccurate. So the higher the number, the more inaccurate they are toward that unit. Since it's infantry, you might want to say, well, we want our guys to be accurate, so just change it to one. Then you have vehicles, air, such as like snow speeders. Change that to one. That way they would hit them every time, which wouldn't really make any sense. And there's structures like buildings and turrets and such. You can all modify those. And then things like this guard chase range. If anything is within 200 whatever units, I'm going to say 200 feet. Don't really know. Maybe 200 meters, whatever it is. If any enemy unit is within that while they're defending, then they will chase them down. But if they leave that area, then they'll go back to their position. Could be useful. Death fade time. And that's essentially the main things you can edit on the ground infantry file. And then to change the numbers when they spawn, you can go to ground companies, empire, indigenous, or rebels, whichever one you prefer. I'll be using empire in this example. scroll down until you get to Imperial Infantry Squad or something like that. Anti-Infantry Imperial 
about Stormtrooper Squad. Here it is. And then you can see all kinds of things that you can change. Like, build cost. Like in Galactic Conquest, it costs 60 credits for a group of Stormtroopers. You can raise and lower the price. You can also raise and lower the time it takes to train those troops. Build time reduced by multiple factories. It's default as a yes, if you want to make it harder on yourself, or just want to fool around with it, you just hit no, type in no right there. And no. Tech level is what tech level you must have to acquire these. Right now it's of course at one. Formation priority, which if its priority is a one, then it makes them stay in a group more organized. Like my favorite part, however, is this part: the number of troops per squad, and then the amount of troops in the entire unit. Right now, it's 18 troops and two squads of nine. 18 divided by 9 is 2. And then you can just copy this. Like so. Make sure you put a comma here. Put a space. Paste it, and then boom. You just added more units into that. So, it's pretty cool. And then down here you have multiplayer skirmish values, such as the tactical build cost, and then the amount of time it takes for them to be trained and such. Pretty cool stuff. And then population values, like you can set this to zero and they will never take up population space. So you can just have infinite amounts of these guys if you wanted. Change it to 90 if you want, that doesn't really make any sense though. And then down below you have like medium stormtrooper squads, which are like surviving ones, and then you have Veer's deployed ones. And you just change all these for yourself. And that pretty much does it for when it comes to infantry modifying on the large perspective. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. This has been the Hawkler 5, and I'll see you guys later.